Climate change isn't something that's going to happen in the future, it's happening now. Right now, 3% you know, of the species are in some danger uh, owing only to climate change, not to all the other risk factors like habitat change. As you increase the temperature, we see an increase in those extinction risks. And so there's, there's quite a substantial risk if we continue on our current course. The Arctic is warming faster than any other place in the world. So if you want to understand the effects of climate change on ecosystems, the first place we're going to see those is in the Arctic. And so we go there to understand these effects. We're doing this through the lens of the Arctic railing, which is a fish that's related to trout and salmon. And they're, they're key species because they link the streams and lakes together. We have these implanted transmitters, which allows us very fine scale differentiation of where they are across the landscape. So we get this understanding of movement at lots of different scales, which isn't possible for a lot of other species. So we're really interested in the degree to which these different populations are locally adapted and how those local adaptations might affect their ability to survive in the face of, of climate change. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put more biology into our predictions for how species respond to climate change. Most of our predictions to date have been relatively simple statistical models. The future will be to understand the genomes of this Arctic fish and how that maps on to their traits and to their environment. That can hopefully provide insights to what happens when more complicated systems start to respond to, to changes in temperature and precipitation. As scientists, we're going to be able to show what can happen with climate change and predict those effects into the future. But we also need to be able to inform policymakers about the consequences of their decisions. When you alter the entire Earth's temperature, there are a lot of effects. We have a choice right now, are we going to let the Earth warm to one degree or two degrees or five degrees Celsius? And that decision has profound implications for our world. And so uh, we're trying to give those policymakers some input into what their decisions actually mean. Scientists can provide those guidelines for understanding where are the greatest risks. And I think that's where a lot of my research is moving, is trying to not just observe these changes in the environment, but to be able to predict them.